Hi gang, Rob here. It is the evening of 11 April 2024. Thursday night at 9 o'clock. Must be time for a knife sale on the Apostle P channel and a knife sale we shall have. Before I get into the thick of it, let's do a little bit of housekeeping as usual. First off, I need you to be familiar with and agreeable to the terms of the sale. I'm going to post them on the screen for you in just a moment. I will also print them in the description underneath this video. If you are new to this weekly sales event especially, give those a good reading. Take them into your heart. Know them. Love them. It will make your purchase experience go much more smoothly. Also in the description of the video, right at the top above the terms of the sale, you're going to see three links to previous videos. The first of which, again, most pertinent to you if you're new, is a 38-minute expanded explanation of the terms of the sale. It's called a primer for buyers. <clears throat> Watching that will really make it all make sense, I promise. The second link is to my FAQs for consigners video. That one is pertinent to you if you're interested in using this weekly sales event to move along some of your collection. It explains how this all works from the consigner's perspective. And the third link, as always, is to my rates and services video for the Apostle P Knife Service, the original precision sharpening service for the online knife community. And this is a good time to send in knives because backlog is very low. So you'll get them back quick. So, in the all-important video description, you're going to see those three links at the very top. Then you're going to see the terms of the sale. And at the bottom, the reason you all came here, the list of tonight's inventory, complete with timestamps on the left, pricing on the right. In that pricing column, you'll generally see two numbers. The number to the left of the slash is the price of your knife as shown in the video. On the right is the price of your knife as sharpened by the Apostle P Knife Service. Uh, FYI on sharpening, there will be no next day sharpening this week because I'll be traveling to Southeast Ohio tomorrow on Friday. So no next day sharpening, but not to worry because backlog is low in sharpening. So if you buy a knife to be sharpened in this week's sale, it'll be done in two weeks. If you see the word SOLD, all caps, exclamation point, in lieu of pricing for a given item, that means no need to send an inquiry or an I'll take it because that knife has been bought and paid for by its new owner. I think that's it for the housekeeping. Let's get the, term, the terms up on the screen for you. We'll be, we'll be right back with the sale. Here are the terms. All right, let's get to it, shall we? First up, we've got just three leftover items from last week. The first of which comes with a lot of goodies. <clears throat> it is from Seiko. Mm -hmm. And the watch inside that box is this one. It's the SNJ027 Patty and a Digi Arnie. So named Arnie because Arnold Schwarzenegger wore a very similar watch in several of his movies, including Predator. It is a solar quartz 200 meter analog and digital watch. Has a 120 click unidirectional bezel with a Pepsi bezel insert, part of the Patty package. That's the, I believe it's the professional Association of Diving Instructors. <clears throat> Dimensions are 46 diameter with the case shroud, 51 lug to lug, about 15 thick, and a 22 millimeter lug width. It has a bunch of functions. The two pushers on the uh, left side of the watch have screw down collars. They, they screw backwards, by the way, so you screw clockwise. To release the pusher so you can use it you screw it out to lock it the uh, three o'clock crown operates conventionally comes with no factory strap but the factory strap sucked <laughs> so you get this black and silver seat belt nato you also get the original polymer case shroud you're going to get 
a red strap that is some pretty nice silicone, kind of a waffle pattern. It is a 20 millimeter though, so it's a little loose. And then you get two 22 millimeter NATOs, a black and a red. So these run brand new, about 394 to 420, you know, gray market websites. We ran this last week at 250, didn't sell. Uh, I forgot to show you the uh, stainless steel bezel when I made the original video. So we dropped it to 240 and reconfigured it as shown on Saturday. This week, the whole shoot and match, 220 bucks. Uh, that's a pretty good buy on that watch. And it's pretty near mint. There might be a little, some hairlines on the stainless bezel, but it's pretty much an unmarked watch. Great buy. So let's set that aside mm -hmm. and move on to the next one, which is right here. From Heretic Knives, we've got a long model number, but it is the Colossus Single Edge Black Tactical. A double action out the front automatic from Heretic. <clears throat> Looks a little bit like a Microtech Scarab, I think you might say. This is not track tech. This is more abrasive, but it's a pretty nice, pretty nice inserts. <clears throat> Serial number 267. Out that handle comes that blade. Kind of a kind of a clip point or a modified reverse tanto in CPM Magna Cut. Blade length three and a half inches. The handle is five plus the uh, glass breaker. The clip is black and deep carry and has just a little bit of wear on it, which is really the only wear on the knife. Medium to firm button, 100% reliable. We'll call it near mint in box. These are 471 web retail. We ran this one last week at 350, didn't get any takers, dropped it to 325 for the weekend, still here. Let's go 325 this week. I'm sorry, let's go 295 this week and then 325 if you'd like that Magna Cut blade sharpened. That's the Heretic Colossus OTF automatic. <clears throat> Next up, kind of surprised this one didn't sell last week. It is from Microtech. The knife inside is the 142-1 COD, which is for Cerakote OD. Look at that beauty. The Combat Truidon, double edge, just a beauty. That's five and a quarter inches of Cerakoted 6061T6 aluminum. Serial number is 39581, born in August of 2022. Mm -hmm. The blade is M390. It is three and three quarters inches in length. Gorgeous double-edged affair. Pretty cool how they did the flat, the, the satin on the flats without really even feathering the Cerakote. Just a beautiful job. Firm button, 100% reliable. These are out of stock. When they were available, they were 551 web retail. We ran this near mint inbox example for 375 last week. Didn't sell, dropped it to 340 on Saturday. Still here. Let's go 320 this week. And be careful in your uh, I'll take it because this knife is the same model as the next one. This is the OD version. Next up. Same model, but a little different. This is a signature series knife from Microtech. It is also a Combat Truidon Double Edge. Model 142-3 CCS Coyote Camo Full Serrated. Hmm. <clears throat> Check that out. That is absolutely gorgeous. So again, you have that same five and a quarter inch handle in camo Cerakote. This is serial number 310, born 11 of 22. There's the blade. I really like that serrated top side 
on a double-edged Microtech because you actually have some utility there. Mm -hmm. Blade length is three and three quarters in M390. Very, very little wear on this knife. Just a little bit of carry wear in the Cerakote, but just burnishing, definitely nowhere near through. Firm button, 100% reliable. <clears throat> These are 728 Web Retail. I think I did find one obscure retailer that has them in stock. This one can be yours, though. How about 475 bucks? Yeah. What is that? Two... Hundred and fifty three dollars off. Yeah <clears throat> No need to sharpen that's the Microtech signature combat true on double-edged camo <clears throat> Next up Another one from Microtech This is one I have not seen and it's pretty doggone cool it's 268A-10 Brachial Auto Single Edge very very cool knife so it's going to be a button lock automatic <clears throat> black hard anodized aluminium handle with kind of a frag pattern milled in standard microtech clip check this out oh it's a little persian mm -hmm. i know a little persian i think his name is peter <laughs> Who said he was done buying knives? Are you sure? <laughs> Super cool knife. M390 blade, three and a quarter inches long, four and 13 sixteenths on the handle length. And oh my, oh my. Mm -hmm. Lock up is rock solid. Spring is stout. Centering is perfect. Action is a thumper. <clears throat> We'll call this near mint. Uh, you know, I wrote I wrote very close on the centering. Looks pretty perfect today. Serial number is 852. Born on date, August of 22. These are available currently brand new from your favorite retailer for $417. How about we do $250 on this one? 280 if you like it with my edge. The Brachial from Microtech. Next up. <clears throat> Another Microtech part of the Signature Series. It is a Truodon <clears throat> single edge. Tan G10 composite top. Hmm. Model 139-1 GTTAS. That's a lot of letters. Let's look at the knife. Oh, oh, look at that little cutie. Yes. Kind of a Coyote Tan G10. Nice satin finish. Then you got your black hard anodized aluminum working portion of the handle. Black clip. <clears throat> Serial number 013. Born April of 22. The handle is three, I'm sorry, is four and three sixteenths inches in length. It is a double action out the front automatic. I would call this button medium. It's definitely a drive your wife crazy while watching a movie knife. You could do that all night. The blade is M390, three inches in length. Two-tone finish with that perforated fuller. I love that. Little bit of wear on the clip of this one, so it's been carried. Little to no edge wear. <clears throat> we'll call it near mint in box. These are out of stock. When they were available, they had a web retail of 500 bucks ish <clears throat> I couldn't find one in this exact configuration, but that would have been close. Let's do this one at $295 like it is, 325 with an Apostle P edge. <clears throat> Signed by Anthony Marfione. That's the one, that's the 139-1, true it on single edge, OTF automatic. Next up, another one from Microtech. This is the Stitch, model 169-10, Stonewash Standard. 
So you have a black handle in hard anodized aircraft aluminum. Got a beautiful gear pattern titanium backspacer. Standard Microtech clip. Button lock automatic that fires like a rocket. The blade is M390. Serial number is 11522, born 12 of 22. The blade length on the stitch is 3 and 11 sixteenths. The handle is 4 and 15 sixteenths. Very, very nice knife ergonomically. Very aesthetically interesting blade. Rock solid lockup. Feels like a pretty stiff spring. Centering, very nice. I called it perfect. There is only very, very slight clip wear on this knife, right down in this area. Just some little tiny scratches. We're going to call it near mint in box. Uh, these are available brand new, current web retail at 433. Let's do this one at 285, like it is 315 with an Apostle P edge. That is the 169 10 stitch automatic stone washed. Make sure you include that descriptor in your I'll take it because the next knife is very similar. So 290, I'm sorry, 285 like it is 315 sharpened on the stone washed stitch. And next up, we have another stitch. Oh, this is going to say Microtech Stitch Automatic Murdered. No box with this one, but it's essentially the same knife except you have a black blade and black hardware. Again, a little bit of clip wear on this one. Three or four and 15 16 inches of handle length. Side folding button lock automatic. M390 blade. Serial number on this one is 13141. The born on date is four of 2023. 3 and 11 16 inches of gorgeous M390. Beautiful in the hand. We'll call this one Near Mint No Box. Web retail on these currently 433. Let's do 275 on this one. 305 with an Apostle P Edge. That is the Microtech Stitch Automatic Murdered. Next up. We have one from Protec, <clears throat> no box, just a delicious drawstring pouch. This knife is pretty special. Look at that, would ya? Yeah. This is the Protec Terzuola ATCF Auto. It is 100% Bob. And I want you to pay special attention, not only to the marbled carbon fiber scales, but look at that beautiful shimmering mother of pearl inlaid button. You have the Terzola signature milled titanium satin finish pocket clip. Got just a little bit of wear in it, but that's easy to fix if you'd like to. Beautiful Protec action. And then that gorgeous blade, CPM Magna Cut, <clears throat> which I believe is visible right there. Uh -huh. Three and a half inches of it. Four and seven sixteenths inches of handle. Supremely comfortable knife. Lockup is dead rock solid. Spring is strong. Centering is dead. There is just some very, very, very slight handle wear right at the front corners. We'll call this near mint no box. These are out of stock and I think pretty highly sought after. When they were available, they had a web retail of 480. This one can be yours, 350, like it is, 380. I sharpen that Magna Cut blade. One of the coolest Protex ever made right there. The ATCF automatic Protec Terzola. Next up, <clears throat> another Protec no box, just a pouch. Another collaboration knife from Protec. This ooh, is the Les George Rockeye 
operator. So the operator is sterile. So we'll see. Zero markings anywhere. <clears throat> you got a DLC blade that looks a lot like a VECP. Look how that thing just sucks up the light. Beautiful finishing for its intended purpose. Three and three eighths inches of CPM D2. You have a little tritium vial in the deployment button so you can find it at night. The handle is black, hard anodized aluminum. And then it's got the knurled handle. Beautiful. Those are not inserts. That is machined in the aluminum. Rock solid ProTech lockup. Centering is perfect. Hard to see, but it is. Deployment rocks. <clears throat> very, very slight burnishing of the uh, hard anno and the aluminum handle, but very near mint. Uh, these are out of stock when they were available. They had a web retail price of 330 bucks. Let's do this one at 220 like it is. 245 with my edge on a CPM D2 blade. Superb steel, by the way. That is the Rock Eye Operator from ProTech in Les George. Next up might be our last ProTech tonight. This one comes with a box. <clears throat> Inside the box is a Model 920 Godfather, kind of the uh, basic version. Black handle with a bead blasted blade. The Godfather. Such a piece of sweetness. Now you'll see a little bit of carry wear. That glare really picked it up, but it really doesn't present. <clears throat> Here's your blasted clip. It's a side folder automatic. Oh, look at that big blade. Bead blasted 154 cm. Blade length on the Godfather is 3 and 15 sixteenths of nasty piercy awesomeness. The handle is 5 and 5 sixteenths. Lots of real estate. Solid lockup. I got a little tiny bit of side play as adjusted, but we could take that out if we wanted to. Centering looks pretty dead to me. Not like my ex-wife, but <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful knife. So you can buy these brand new. I think they're 210 web retail. This one, uh, you know, it's got a little bit of pocket wear. How about 150 bucks for one of the most iconic Protex ever? 175 with my edge. The 920 Godfather Auto from Protac. Next up, an interesting knife. <clears throat> Hard to identify because it didn't come to my mind right off the bat when I looked at it. So here it is. It is a Microtech model 280-1 DLC TSH Scarab 2 Shadow Blackout Edition. What? Yes, that's it, really, I promise. Beautiful, hard anodized aluminum handle. Look at the, well, we would call those serrations if they were on top of a pistol barrel. Just cool as heck. Gorgeous clip. Notice the scarab engraved into the clip. That's really the only identifier on the knife. Everything's black. Nice DLC over stonewash. Even the flats are black on this one. Not bare satin. Look at the flutes coming out of the handle. That's so cool. So the Scarab has premium stainless steel. <laughs> we don't know. It's whatever they were running at the time. Blade length is three and three quarters. Handle is five and five sixteenths. Button effort is firm, but very positive comes out with a thunk. I mean a thunk. 100% reliable. Near mint, no box. Only very, very, very slight carry wear on the handle. So let's see. These are out of stock when they were last available at a web retail of $675. let us go 500 bucks on this one. It comes with no box, but it's a very, very nice example cool knife. 
That is a Scarab 2 Shadow Blackout Edition from Microtech. Next up, oh, oh boys, oh boys. Yes, oh, it's a Strider and it ain't an SNG, it's an SMF. <clears throat> it is a, not only a Strider, but an M Strider. This is a mixed Strider Custom. Hard to see, but the engraving in the blade tank says CTS XHP, Tiger Stripe Blade, Flame Titanium Handle, 3 and 15 sixteenths inches of blade, 5 and 3 sixteenths handle. The scale on this knife, <clears throat> I'm going to call it a desert tan. And I think that's an anno. I don't think it's Cerakote, but correct me if I'm wrong. Gunner Grip Aluminum. Let's see, how's the lock stick? There ain't any. Just a little tick. Just what you want. That's opening it hard, which makes it lock up. Beautiful blade centering. Let's see. Yeah. How about that, boys? How about that? So very near mint, no box. Oh gosh. I know that my customer paid $875 a new from Maker. Let's do $595 on it, $620 with an Apostle Pi Edge. Strider SMF, Tiger Stripe, Flame, Tiger Stripe, Flame, Gunner Grip. Next up, got one from Handerer. <clears throat> this is going to come with no box. It is the Jurassic, and it is wearing a scale that is OD Canvas Micarta. And I don't know if this is a factory scale or an aftermarket scale, but it's what you get. <laughs> Looks really cool on the knife, especially a knife called the Jurassic, because my card is kind of old school. Stonewash frame, stonewash blade. This would be a triway pivot knife, but you're going to get only the bearings. No box, no tools, no additional hardware. The blade on this one is Magna Cut. Blade length three and a quarter, handle four and a half. Just a stunning knife in the hand. I mean, unbelievable in the hand. Yeah. Steel inserted titanium frame lock, hand or lock bar stabilizer, right hand tip up or down clip. Everything squared away, lock up's perfect, action's perfect. Centering is perfect. Near mint, no box. These are out of stock. Uh, when they were available, they were $425 web retail, and you can't get one. Let's do $395 on this one. $425 with an Apostle Piage on the Hender Jurassic, Magna Cut, and Micarta. Next up. <laughs> Similar to the SMF we looked at a little bit ago, we have a big boy from Handerer. Yes, it is the XM24 Frag Pattern Black G10 Scale. What do they call that finish? There's a name for it. I don't know. It's like a working finish, but it's black. You guys tell me the name because I can't remember. <clears throat> Battle Black, I believe. Yeah. The blade is the Bowie, and it's got the working finish. CPM 20 CV is your steel. 3 and 15 16 inches of blade, 5 and 3 8 inches of handle. Working finish on the clip and the fill tab. Steel inserted titanium frame lock. Triway pivot, but no box, no washers with this one, so ball bearings only. Yes, so good. So big, a little bit of handle wear. Who cares? That's why it's battle black. Okay, action's beautiful. Centering's perfect. And oh, does it flip? We will call this one near mint, no box, out of stock. New currently, XM24s are always out of stock. New. 
when this knife was available, the web retail would have been $595. Because no box. Let's do $450 like it is. $480 with an Apostle Piedge to hinder XM24 Bowie. Next up, this will be like the buy of the week, right? Because it's a Chris Revumnum's on. And it's got no box, no birth card, no cloth, no Allen wrenches, no grease, no Loctite, nothing, just a knife. The blade tang, which I can't show you because it's under the handle, is Chris Reeve coded for MagnaCut. So it's a MagnaCut Magna Umnumzon. Look at that bow. Yes. Blade length. 3 and 11 sixteenths, handle length 4 and 3 quarters, Reeve Integral Lock with the ceramic ball interface, locks up perfectly. Zero blade play. As close to a free dropper as you'll ever see in an Umnumzon. Very hard to see the centering, but it's perfect, and the action's beautiful. Very fresh. The O-rings haven't been crushed. You could hear, hear how hydraulic it sounded when it opened up. A little bit of trailing, but nothing major. So no box or kit. You'll have to take my word for it on the blade steel because I'm not taking it apart on camera. <laughs> um, you know what these knives sell for if you get them new with all the stuff. A lot more than this. $3.95 like it is. $4.20 with an Apostle Piage. The Umnum's on in Magna Cut. Next up, a very cool out the front automatic from those boys in Oregon City. This is the Benchmade 4600 DLC-1 Phaeton out the front automatic in flat dark earth. Look at that gorgeous FDE aluminum handle. Beautiful checkering up front for the overhand pinch grip. Man, is that good. <clears throat> Handle length on the Phaeton is four and five eighths. You've got a reversible deep carry parkerized butterfly clip. Button effort, just medium. Blade steel is S30V DLC coated. Gorgeous, skinny little drop point. Maybe you could call it a clip. Very gentle hump right there. Just gorgeous, man. Blade length is three and a half. These are so good in the hand. Let's say it's a much more usable knife than an Infidel, but with all of that same quality. Just beautiful. <clears throat> we'll say near mint. No box on this one. Current web retail or Benchmade map pricing is $382. Let's do $250 on this one. $275 with an Apostle Piage. The Phaeton OTF Automatic from Benchmade. <clears throat> Next up, I have twins, sort of. I have a standard issue Spyderco Tenacious, and I have a Spyderco Tenacious with an Anso pattern milled show side scale. The business sides are the same. And they're both, they're both, you know, kind of used. They got some fine scratches in the blades from polishing and cleaning. They got lint. They both lock up about the same very nicely. So you guys know the Tenacious 8CR13 MOV, 3 and 3 8 blade, 4 and 3 8 handle. All of them have phosphor bronze washers in them. Some of them have a Teflon washer stuck in there. I don't know about these. Solid lock. Ah, a little bit of a little bit of lock slip on that one. Not on that one. Mm -hmm. The centering blows on that one. That's the plain one. Pretty good on the Anso one. So anyway, <clears throat> you get both of them. These sell brand new for 64 bucks web retail or Spyderco map pricing. Um, uh, you know, you got two cars, you need one in the glove box of each. So we're going to sell them both together. The pair, 40 bucks shipped priority mail, plus 25 each if you want them sharpened. 
We're calling that the Spyderco Tenacious Combo. Yes, we are. Time to turn the page, boys. All right. Next up, I think this is kind of a forgotten gem <clears throat> in Spyderco history. This is the Positron. Kind of the second swing at the Spyderco play for Brad Southern. <clears throat> a smallish knife scaled in solid all the way through carbon fiber. Ambidextrous tip up deep carry wire clip. Ball bearing flipper, very low profile flipper tab, but totally accessible. A modified southern banana, southern banana blade shape. Blade steel on the Positron is S30V. Three inches in length. That beautiful Taichung stone polish. There are in this knife blade, if I can get the camera to pick them up, some very fine scratches. It looks like maybe some ultra fine scotch bright was used at some point. But you, you have to catch it in the right light like that. <clears throat> so three inch blade, three and 15 sixteenths handle. Stainless steel liner lock and a ball bearing flipper. Beautiful blade centering, beautiful flipping action, and rock solid lockup. We will call this excellent to near mint. Light blade polishing noted. Uh, no box with this knife. Discontinued and out of stock at 174 map, which I think was kind of a clearance price, but your price on this one, 120 like it is 145 with an Apostle P edge on the Positron from Spyderco. Next up, here's one I don't know if I've ever seen one of. From Borka Blades, and I believe the maker's name is Sebastian Berenyi. Does that sound right? I'm probably butchering his name. So there's your model number sort of thing. It's an SB1, the name of the model. It is a fixed blade. It comes in a gorgeous, nicely made Kydex sheath with a tech lock a little bit of blade rattle but not bad nice retention little little thumb break you know, the retention could be better there we go anywho kind of a cute little thing ain't it kind of looks like a microtech stitch <clears throat> you've got an m390 blade four and one eighth inches in length black pvd coated the handle is burgundy g10 3D machined. Look at that. Manufactured by Fox in Italy. Didn't see that coming. In hand, pretty doggone nice. Mm -hmm. We'll call this one near mint to like new in box. They had a web retail brand new of 445. Come on now. There we go. Your price on this one. 295 like it is 325 with an apostle piage near mint to like new with a 445 web retail that ought to be a buy that's the borka blades sb1 fixed blade next up ooh, well our little mini fixed blade party continues with this big huge box from a hand or knives inside the box resides the Ranch, Bowie in 3V, Battle Black Finish, Natural Micarta, Handle. Oh, man, they just killed it with this. They killed it. Look at that gorgeous leather. Whose maker's mark is that? I don't know. It looks like WH, Handcrafted USA. Inside is the knife. Man, did they get this right or what, guys? Yes. CPM 3V blade with the battle black finish. Got some preservative into that coating. Natural canvas micarta scales that are removable. Hinderer hardware, which means awesome hardware. Nice in the hand. Beautiful camp knife. <clears throat> 
So the ranch has a web retail of 390 bucks web retail. This one is definitely near mint to like new in box. Let's go 325 on this one shipped priority mail. 360 if you like my edge. I forgot to tell you the blade length. Five and five sixteenths blade, five and a quarter handle. Looks like five thirty seconds stock in stock. Very usable, very awesome fixed blade from Henderer. The ranch. Next up, here is a pretty cool knife. I got to say. Even though it comes from that one place. This is from Vosteed, and it's the Corsair. <clears throat> uh huh. Handle scales are black canvas micarta, not G10. <clears throat> Notice the clip. Ambidextrous tip up deep carry. This is the Vosteed crossbar lock. Nothing like an access lock whatsoever. Got some little coppery pivot collars and a super cool blade. Uh -huh. Nitro V steel, three and three sixteenths inches long, four and five sixteenths handle. Got some little milled slots for texture. This is probably on ball bearings, I think. It is. Rock solid lockup. Nice flicking action, perfect blade centering condition. We will say near mint to like new in box. And you got a little baggie of goodies here. It looks like there's a backspacer in there if you want to change it out from the pillar. Fill tab, some screws. Yeah, pretty cool. <clears throat> so those are uh, 69 bucks web retail. Let's do 40 on this one, 65 with an Apostle Piedge. Next up, we've had a couple of these over the last few months. A Purvis Knives. The model is the Primordial, and I think this is kind of the Primordial to buy. With the carbon fiber scales, that kind of acid stonewashed titanium. Milled titanium, right hand tip up clip. Titanium frame lock with steel lock bar insert. Got ball bearing pivot and a long slot for deployment. Pretty sexy clip point blade, M390, 3 and 7 16 inches in length. The handle's 4 and 3 8, so very efficient ball or blade to handle ratio. Lock up is rock solid, locking up right there. Very hydraulic feeling, perfect blade centering. Near meant to like new in box. Out of stock currently at 250 web retail. Let's do 200 on this one. 230 with an Apostle Piaget, the A Purvis Primordial. Next up, we got one from CJRB. Not that this will tell you much, but the model number is J1925-AL. It is the Pyrite. The Pyrite Frag is a white mountain knives exclusive with natural aluminum frag scales. It's got a deep carry ambidextrous tip up clip. It is a button lock with a ball bearing pivot and thumb studs. Works very nicely. The steel as most CJRBs have is AR-RPM9, blade length three and an eighth. The handle's four and three sixteenths. Just does everything well. Near meant to like new in box. Oh, by the way, blade centering be dead. Uh, these are 60 bucks at White Mountain. This one can be yours for 40. 65 if you'd like it with my edge on it. That's the Pyrite Frag from CJRB. <clears throat> Next up, here's a fun one from a fun company. They don't take it too seriously. Finch Knives. The model inside is the Roadrunner sporting the Hornet yellow and black resin handle. Model number RR502 and 154 CM. 
pretty cool looking blade, I got to say. Kind of emulates a stiletto. Stainless steel frame lock handle, but a titanium clip that's right hand tip up. It flips on ball bearings. Yes, how about that gorgeous little thing? That's got a little presence, doesn't it? Look how the blade em or the clip emulates the blade shape. Pretty cool. Nice, very fine satin finish also. 154 cm blade, 3 and 3 8 inches in length, 4 and 5 16 handle. There's your lock up, rock solid, ball bearing action's gorgeous. Centering on the finch. Beautiful. Condition near mint to like new in box. These are out of stock when they were available at a web retail of 145. Let's do a buck 10 on this one. 110 like it is 135 with my edge. The Finch Roadrunner in Hornet yellow and black resin. Next up we have a beautiful knife from ZT. Experience it. The knife inside started its life as a plain ZT0562 titanium but it's had a little work done by USA Made Blade. We have a custom green and black anno that they call Circuit. Gee, I wonder why. Very cool. Even if you're not a techie, it just looks cool. So yeah, you got a three and a half inch blade in CPM 20 CV, hinderer slicer design. The handle is four and 13 sixteenths. It is a titanium frame lock with a steel insert, hinderer lock bar stabilizer, ambidextrous tip up deep carry clip. There is your lock up. Everything beautiful, centering perfect, flips like a rocket. Condition will be near mint to like new in box. So current web retailer <coughs> ZT map pricing for these, 312 at your favorite online web retailer plus the Anno job. Um, we realize this might be a highly personalized finish, so you're going to get a heck of a deal. How about 200 bucks like it is, 230 with an Apostle Piedge, the ZT0562TI Custom Anno. Next up, we've got a huge save me from myself moment. My buddy Russ bought one of these from me about a year ago, and I've regretted letting him have it ever since. It's a Hogue 64133 Ballista 1. Just one of my favorite side folding autos on the planet. Gorgeous, bright blue, hard anodized aluminum handle. Button lock automatic with safety. In my mind, this might be the best clip on the planet. Deep carry, shorty, with these like fish scale bumps that you can't miss grabbing this out of your pocket. And But going down, smooth as silk. It's gorgeous. <clears throat> What's inside? The blade, 154 cm, three and a half inch long drop point with a little swedge. Great sharpening choil, forward choil for grip. The handle, four and nine sixteenths. Lock up is solid. I wrote centering very close. I think it favors the top as you're looking at it ever so slightly. And it fires beautifully. Condition is near mint to like new in box. Currently available for an online retail price of 171. Let's do 130 like it is 155 with my edge. Oh guys, don't leave me hanging till 11 o'clock tonight. Or I might just mark it sold and keep it. The Ballista One Automatic from Hogue. Next up, we got the Rob's Pick for tonight from Microtech. It's an icon. The 135-1 OD LUDT. Oh, 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 oh my. Would you look at that OD green anno? It's almost got a little metallic hint 
black hardware, black blade, black lanyard. Blade Steel's M390. Serial number 19070, born 8 of 20. Zero blade play. Centering on the LUDT is very close. I do believe it favors the top as you're looking at it. Ever so slightly. Fires like a rocket. Condition, <clears throat> like new in the box. Uh, found one retailer with these in stock. It was PVK. They got them for 283. This one, 230. Shipped priority mail, like new in the box. 260 with my edge. That's the Rob's pick. The OD LUDT. Next up, very sweet little knife. I gotta believe it's made in China. I almost don't care. It's from Terzula. Nunquam Segundum. Look it up. It is the FF010TS ATCF Lite. Kind of reminds me of that little, what's that little Ferrum Forge Pro Series knife? I, this is just a gorgeous little knife. Tan G10, nicely radiused, deep carry tip up clip that is ambidextrous, gorgeous mount, hidden lanyard pin. Ball bearing flipper. Whoops, it flips better than that. There we go. Nice little tapered fuller drop point blade in Nitro V, three inches long. Three and seven eighths handle, super efficient little package, great in the hand. Stainless steel liner lock, locking up right there. Rock solid, beautiful ball bearing pivot, perfect blade centering. Like new in the box, 85 bucks web retail. Let's do 60 shipped priority mail. It even comes with a cute little pouch. <clears throat> cute little pouch. <clears throat> that is the ATCF Lite from Terzula. Next up, we have a rare <clears throat> modern folder from Case. It's the model, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> 36655, I'm sorry, 36550 Westline. An S35VN. Pretty interesting little knife. So those scales are interesting, aren't they? I thought, is that some kind of paper micarta? It's not. That is hard anodized black aluminum and then it's tumbled. So it gives it a super cool appearance and it's going to camouflage any carry wear. You got a deep carry tip up clip that's ambidextrous pillar construction, a very Kershaw blur thumb stud, whoops, and a spring assist. S35VN blade is three and a quarter inches in length, handles four and nine sixteenths, rock solid lockup, liner lock mechanism, and there's the spring. Centering on this one, beautiful. I would call it very close. Condition will be near mint to like new in box. These are currently available brand new. 160 is the price at your favorite web retailer. Let's do 115 on this one, 140 if you'd like it with an Apostle P Edge. That's the West Line from Case. Next up, we have a Spidey from China. It is the Persistence FRN or the Persistence Lightweight Black FRN scales with sort of a volcano grip. You can see the newness on the scale, can't you? Polished clip, four-way variety. Combo edge blade and HCR 13 MOV. Two and three quarters blade, four and an eighth handle. There is your lockup, early and secure. Nice action. The centering is going to be very close. I see it a little to the low side as you're looking at it. We will say near mint to like new in box, more like new than near mint. You can buy these online for 43 bucks plus tax and postage, or just buy this one, $30 all in with priority mail postage. 
55 if you'd like it with my edge. That is the Persistence from Spyderco. Next up, did I say blur a minute ago? I did. And we have one. And I think maybe the sexiest blur of all time. It's the 1670 NBSW blur in blue. Hard, anodized, 6061 T6 aluminum with track tech inserts. We got a black Kershaw pocket clip that is right hand tip up, tip down. I got a speed safe spring assist mechanism with the best thumb studs ever. Blade steel is stonewashed 14C28N, 3 and 7 16 inches in length. The handle, 4 and 7 16 There is your liner lock lockup. It's beautiful and secure. Blade's nice and free until you get to the spring. Centering is perfect. Condition will be near mint to like new. No box. These are 75 bucks. Web retail currently available. Or just buy this one. Who needs a box for a Kershaw blur? 50 bucks like it is 75 with my edge. Next up, it's watch time, boys. The first one is a Seiko. And the box is a little bedraggled. But who cares? It is. The SRPB51 Samurai Automatic Dive Watch. <coughs> Prospects Automatic Divers 200 meter. Let's see, dimensions 43 and a half by 48 and a half lug to lug. 13 thick, 22 millimeter lug width. It is a very finely textured black waffle dial. <clears throat> Brown and black, aluminum bezel, 120 click, unidirectional. Let's see if I can get this to line up. Look at that. That's pretty doggone good alignment for a Seiko, I got to say. Screw down crown, factory bracelet, a little bit of desk diving rash, but nothing serious. This is running the 4R35 automatic movement. I've had it running for over 24 hours. It's gained seven seconds. That's pretty doggone good. These are available brand new at Long Island Watch for $394. This one, $230. No need to sharpen. On the Samurai from Seiko. Next up, a Nudden from Seiko. I got stuff here. I have another box. There are pamphlets, booklets inside. Uh -huh. Yeah. There's also a, uh, <clears throat> a hang tag that says this is the SBD057. All the text written in kanji. Mm -hmm. It is a JDM, Japanese Domestic Market, Sumo. Now, originally, this watch came with what's generally regarded as a highly desirable Pepsi bezel to go with the blue dial. And you get that bezel and the sticker to put it on with. <clears throat> but this consigner changed it to a black bezel with kind of an orange pip that I had misaligned. There we go. So blue dial, red seconds hand. Mm -hmm. You got your Reese's Peanut Butter Cup in a banana. <laughs> Deceptive dimensions. 44 diameter, 52 and a half lug to lug. <clears throat> 13 thick, 20 millimeter lug width. Runs the 6R15 automatic movement. It is a 200 meter automatic divers ISO certified watch. <clears throat> I'm going to call this one excellent in box. Some very fine hairlines on the case. Very little desk rash on the bracelet. Um, and these are a Japanese domestic market only watch. I found them on Shopping in Japan for $6.34 web retail. Let's do $4.50 on this one. The SBDC057 Sumo Automatic Dive Watch from Seiko. Next up, oh boys, from Chris Reeve Knives, we have a large Incosi 
an S45VN, Tanto Blade, Natural Canvas Micarta Inlays. Here's your birth card, born May 25th of 22. And here's the knife. It is factory fresh. I do not believe there is a mark in it. Hardly any oil even absorbed into the canvas micarta from anybody's hands. And <clears throat> one of the sweetest actions I've ever seen on a Chris Reeve knife. There is your lock engagement with the ceramic ball. It is, of course, rock solid. It's just yummy. I mean, yummy. Centering is CRK perfection. It's beautiful. <clears throat> the lanyard is intact in the box, and there's goodies in there. There's fill tab, and I'm not sure well. Uh... Let's see, these are out of stock at 600 web retail. Now, if it were MagnaCut, it would cost 650 to buy this knife, but it's S45, so it's gonna be 525 like it is, 555 with my edge, the Large Incosi Tanto Natural Canvas from Chris Reeve. Well, boys, that brings us to the last knife in tonight's sale, and boy, did we save a nice one for last. Anybody recognize that box? Mm -hmm. So that says Grimsmo on it, and you got that, and you got, I think there's a little oil back there, and a little tool, and all that good stuff. They do a very nice job on packaging. Here is the COA card. Serial number 7044. It is a Norseman. The handle is cross-hatched turquoise titanium with gold anodized hardware born last June. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Would you look at that? Can you pick up the mill pattern? Yes, there you go. Oh, yeah. Gold hardware. Does it flip? It does. RWL 34 blade, 3 and 5 eighths inches in length. Zero blade wear, single sided thumb stud, five inches of handle, three and five eighths inches of blade. There's your lock engagement. It is, of course, dead rock solid. The ball bearings are ultra smooth. The centering is beautifully perfect. Can you thumb it open? Well, heck yeah, you can thumb it open. Condition. Is like new in the box. Your price, seven fifty, like it is, seven ninety. If you want my edge on it, but they do a nice job from the factory. That is the Grimsmo Norseman number seventy forty four, cross hatched and turquoise. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of another weekly knife sale on the Apostle P channel. Hope you enjoyed it. I sure did. Grace to you and peace, my friends, from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember, the word is sharp. Have at her, boys.